Hey, what's up, everybody? Uh, got uh, a whole bunch of new subscribers. I have to run down this list real quick. Uh, thank you to Gor Guruga, Valund, Shao Kahn 23, Neo Pagan 2007, Johnny Five Alive 123, SC Ruler, Shin Noda, uh, RS Fan for Life 3, Elliot Wolf, Son of Drella 09, Na Magica, N A M G K C A, sorry, um, Alex Pang, uh, Panacro, uh, Tequila Juggalo, or Tequila Juggalo, I guess, uh, Death, Death Note, uh, 959, 7 Glitch, 9 Dark Matter, Freeborn Fanatic, uh, Legend Ball, Gucci Bandana, and Mr. Eddie Cochran. Uh, so, thank you to all of you for subscribing. Um, anyway, I want to answer kind of a, an old question today. Uh, uh, people have asked me this kind of in the past. Um, and actually, uh, I'll give you uh, one of my subscribers uh, on my channel comments. You can find this, but uh, the first person who I didn't know who was like over the YouTube who subscribed to me was this uh, guy called the Norseman 100. And he left this and he said, "I'm surprised a lot of your videos haven't got gotten very many views, but it's that first two or three is what counts. Keep up the good work." Which I appreciate very much. Um, if he's watching. Um, and uh, I, I did a kind of a video uh, response to that, which, uh, or actually kind of, I did two videos kind of on this subject, which I'll link both in the thing. But uh, today I got a channel comment from Opinionated Guy 69 and it said, uh, I just saw your uh, discussion with Brett Keen, and I think you're great. Your opinions are clearly presented and unbiased. You're careful not to offend or generalize and you value feedback over statistics. Uh, definitely subscription material. Looking forward to seeing some of your new videos. Um, and I wanted to sort of talk about that, um, where it says I, I value feedback over s statistics. And i got a couple of videos kind of on, on that, and I'll link them in the thing. Um, I, I kind of think if, if you put a channel out there like me, and you're trying to deliver kind of a message to people. Uh, a lot of people can't keep this in perspective. Uh, a lot of people see their uh, views and subs, and though they're good, you can't deny, like when you see a new view or a new sub, you're like, oh, that's great, but a lot of people don't keep it in perspective, and they uh, get to this place where their happiness or their success or failure, rather, goes by the numbers. Numbers are up, they, they convince themselves, oh, I'm Oh man, I'm somehow fucking important. I'm a hot motherfucker and all this, you know. I'm gonna be the next amazing atheist or Brett Keane or something. Yeah, if the numbers go down, they, they get really like, oh, nobody likes me and I got no friends. But uh, it's good to see the numbers, but, uh, the, uh, you know, you control the numbers. The numbers don't control you. Um, it's how you put your content out there and what form that defines how it gets seen. Um, but. But the sad part is, atheist, Christian, no matter who you are, some people can't keep that in perspective. And they become enslaved to the numbers. And they think, you know, that their numbers, you know, make them some sort of fucking commodity on here or something. They're like, you know, people love me, they watch me, you know. It doesn't make you important, you know. And Or me, or Brett Keener, or the Amazing Atheist, or anybody else. We're guys who are saying some shit that is not new to people. It's not... It's not fucking, it's not like we invented these concepts or, or anything. We're just presenting a, a thing, and and there's a lot of people who go to, like, Brett Keen's channel or The Amazing Atheist, and they leave these comments like, Ah, oh, Brett, you're my god, man, I would do anything for you. Brett Keen, although a, a good dude, you know, he's just a guy, you know. He's not a hero, he's not some messiah preaching a message, uh, don't treat him like some sort of religious figure, you know. There was this uh, guy, uh, I was in Brett Keen's uh, tiny chat room a couple of nights ago, and there was this, uh, no, it was a sticker room, sorry, and uh, 
And there's this guy, um, he went by the handle on there, I'm not sure what he may go by in here, called the Vinny Family Guy. And I, I made the statement that Afghanistan was the longest running war in U.S. history. And, he's, and he didn't know that, you know. He said, well, I thought uh, World War II was. And actually, before Afghanistan, it was Vietnam, you know. First it was World War II, that was Vietnam, that was Afghanistan. Um, they seem to be getting longer for some odd reason. Um, but he said, oh, let me check that out, you know. Now, some people would get offended and be like, oh, what are you accusing me? You think I'm making this shit up? You think I'm fucking lying? You know, fine, don't believe me. Go ahead, look it up. I'm right, you know. People take this ego standpoint to it. Um, but I was glad that he was double-checking me because I, I don't want people to just go, oh, well, okay, I guess you're right. Take that on some sort of blind faith that I'm right. Uh, question everything that I fucking say. Um, I'm not lying about things. Like, the only thing that you... You know, I don't know how the fuck you could get away with lying on the internet. Everything's on tape. Um, people who try utterly get found out and sort of demoralized and disgraced, and then everybody knows it, and they're sort of bitch slapped all over the internet. There's that guy who just makes shit up. Um, now, about my life, my life experiences, you could say, there, there's no way to prove that, so I'm, I'm using this term loosely. I guess you would have to take it on faith um, of some sort that. Um, I'm telling the truth about that, uh, at the end of the day, about my life experiences, you probably don't fucking know, you know. I could be lying when I say I'm telling the truth. Uh, I, I promise I'm not, but, uh, then again, you know, I, I'm just talking fucking circles here now. Um, but the facts I present about how Afghanistan's longest reign war, and, and, and certain facts, it's a five-minute Google search, all right? And me, I'm, I'm kind of weird about shit like that. I use, uh, I'll, I'll try to triple check my uh, facts, Google, and fucking Wikipedia, and try to go to the library and look this shit up, you know. Sometimes it takes a long fucking time. Um, but my point is, you know, don't, you know, some people make these statements of, uh, man, uh, and a couple of people have made this in the past uh, on, like, chat rooms, and they're like, man, I, I wish I could be like you, man. Or, no, don't fucking try to be like me. Be who you are, all right, and think things for yourself, you know. Um, I'm just a dude who's saying something that is inherently true about myself. You may agree, but it doesn't make me some sort of fucking special messiah with a, like, oh, look, if he would have never said this message long ago, that somehow magically makes it not true, you know. It, you know, it, and some people just can't keep that shit in perspective, you know. I'm not fucking important, alright? There's guys who are doing it long before me, there's guys who are going to do it long after me, there's guys who are doing it better than me, worse than me, different from me. But at the end of the day, all that shit boils down to is nobody's, you know, people want to set up sort of some sort of fucking ranking system and then pick sides of who they stand with. Um, and how you can subscribe to as many people you want, so you could just stand with everybody, couldn't you? Um, it should be a chain, not like a fucking monarch, or kind of a unity thing, is what I'm saying. Um, or a monarchy, I, I used the term monarch, I think that's some sort of bug the last time I checked out. A monarch? Was that a bird? I don't know, I can't remember. Um, but anyway. Uh, that's really all I got, so thank you to all the people who subscribed to me, and, uh, I'm working on my flip video, apparently it's the wrong uh, format by itself, and I gotta get like a format conversion kit to take it from MP4 files into like WMV or some shit, so I'm working on that, and I promise to do more flip walking around videos as soon as I get the, the fucking software for it, so anyway, peace.